So here we have a 2015 Skag Freedom Z. It has a 52 inch cutting deck. It's dirty because I just got done using it. I just decided to make a quick video for you guys. I know that at the time I was looking for this Skag. Uh, I couldn't find too many reviews on YouTube. Not too many people have it. Um, now it may be getting more popular. This is the Freedom Z, not the Pro. I know they just eliminated the Pro line, which was the upgraded version of this model. Larger gas tank. Uh, faster ground speeds, uh, larger tires, and I think maybe some bells and whistles on the spindles and whatnot. So anyway, this is the Skag Freedom Z in a 52 inch deck. Awesome machine. This mower goes, I think retails for around 5400 I believe I picked it up for. It's got the Kohler engine, uh, 7000 series, 24 horsepower. There you go. Uh, it's a pretty nice machine. I like it. I was just starting out and I wanted to buy a new machine, a new zero turn. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but I wanted something reliable. So I picked this up. Don't hesitate to pick this one up. This is a, a good quality. It has a fabricated deck. It is not the Advantage deck, but fabricated. And I've taken this thing through a lot of thick, wet, tall grass and everything I throw at it it handles just fine so it's a conventional zero turn you have the two levers on each side to control the unit you um, have a parking brake which is located right here here's your controls you have choke you have the automatic the uh, key ignition uh, mower deck blade engagement throttle battery is located under the left side the fuel tank is on the right side you get an armrest cup holder, cell phone holder. Honestly, it's pretty useless. Uh, so don't worry about the cup holders. You get very dirty and dusty as you can see, but uh, it's a nice machine all in all. It's got anti-scalp wheels on the deck. The deck is commercial grade fabricated as I said. Uh, you have the height adjustment, which is done through a pin right here. And they're actually labeled what the heights of the deck is when i bought this the dealer actually just took it out of its crate and it was all set up they didn't have to do anything to it it's got the hour meter on it as well which is a nice feature so you can keep a track of your hours it's a little dirty but i just decided to make this video for you spur of the moment so you have anti-scalp wheels zero turn I have another video out which has the exact specs, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to let you guys know that this is an awesome model. Just to give you an idea of how it stripes, because it does stripe nice, we'll take a quick video of my yard. My yard does not have nice grass at all. Here's the stripes. So there's a 2015 Skag Freedom Z. Here's how it stripes. There's no stripe kit on this mower. So if you guys can't afford a new mower, you know, a, ski, a cheetah or something like that, don't worry about it. You can always pick up something like this. There she is. Pick up something like this and I think you'll be happy with it. You can get used cheetahs and whatnot for around the same price as you buy this new but if you buy new you're going to have a lot less problems i can guarantee that so it's got the rollover protection bar the rops bar um, i like that feature just in case you never know you might accidentally roll it over and better to be safe than sorry i'm six foot four about 280 pounds and i fit on this mower just fine so right here this pedal that you see right there with your right foot you are going to push down on that that raises the mower deck so if you have an obstacle in your way like i'll show you my yard has a couple little rocks and stuff to stick out of the grass see that sticks up if you want to as soon as you go over that rock you can just press up on that that bar right there the mower deck goes up as soon as you pass over the rock put the mower deck back down you don't have to stop you just keep going that way you can just keep the stripe going 
you don't have to swerve around rock. Sometimes you're mowing, say there's a little rock right here, you'd have to go around it and come back, not here. If there was a rock here, you just press the pedal down, the mower deck goes up, go over it, let it go back down and keep going, which is an awesome feature. I use it all the time. So if you have any questions, comments, or observations, please leave it in the comments. This is Steven with Pure Landscaping. Thanks for watching.